Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Soul Skate Shop YouTube channel. I'm Ivo and today I'm going to teach you how to gut your Seba CJ. Gutting a Seba CJ improves the performance, it gives you a little bit snugger fit and makes your skate overall a better skate. So if you want to learn how to do that. So why do this in the first place? The normal padding of a Seba CJ is really thick and really squishy and to get a good responsive skate where the skate does exactly what you want it to do you need maybe a thinner um, foam and it, the foam needs to be harder because the harder something is the more responsive it is just think about it if I hit somebody with my bare knuckles he's gonna have a lot more pain than if I hit the same person with a boxing glove it's gonna hurt a lot less and I want to make my skate do what I want I want to control it so I want to have direct contact with my boot. No padding, or at least as few padding as possible. Of course you need some padding for comfort. And in general, the intuition liners are considered to be one of the most comfortable liners as well. So it's really magical how they did that because it's both the most responsive liner on the market and it's one of the most comfortable liners in the market. Putting in an intuition liner is a really good upgrade for any skate that doesn't have that. The problem is though that most of these carbon boots that are on the market, let's say if we, uh, if we look at any other carbon boot, I see the PowerSide Hardcore Evo here for example, um, but there's loads of other carbon based boots on the market. It's not usually normal for people to do the same trick that we're doing now with this skate. And I'm a little bit puzzled why, but the main reason why I can think of is that most of the carbon boots on the market have a slimmer fit already and if you put in an intuition liner you will cramp it down especially at the toe box um, you will make it more narrow and most of the carbon boots are actually already made for slalom skating and slalom skating um, needs a smaller toe box already because they're doing a lot of like toe rolls and, uh, and heel rolls where you need a lot of stiffness and a lot of control already over the over the toe so there, the reason why not uh, other people are doing it for other models might be because the other models are already too snug to fit an intuition liner. If you however have any experience with doing this, please drop it in the comments because I have just not seen anybody doing it, any photos of it, any videos of it. So uh, it would be great if we could share our experiences in the comments for this video so that we can all learn how to do this with other models as well. Other models that might be good for uh, gutting would be the aggressive skates for USD Carbon and the Faction Tactical skates. I think Ricardo Lino did a video about the, the USD Carbon and he didn't really like that. Uh, I have not seen anybody do it for the Faction skate. The Faction already has the option to put in a liner of course, uh, but you can still gut it a little bit and it would probably um, uh, make the skate a little bit stiffer because the, the tactical skate is really loose in the flex so it has a lot of flex. Check out our video about flex if you want to learn more about that topic. In the faction skate there still is like a little bit of um, like a lining. It's not a liner but it's a lining. Uh, there's not much padding but there's still some fabric that you can take out. Same goes for the Seba CJ Prime. This is the model that most people will want to gut. Only this is the prime version, so this comes with a liner already. And if you look on the inside here, there still is a lot of fabrics, also on the bottom of the skate and on the sides, and you can still take that out. Same goes for the Wizard base skate. It comes already with an intuition liner, but if you want to make it so that there's a little bit more room, you can still take out some of the fabric here you can see the white bottom that can still be taken out so that the liner would sit directly on the carbon this skate is 900 euros it just came out and if you want to learn more about it we're going to do a small short video on our youtube channel as well for it with a quick insight so there's a little bit two ways to do it uh, i just told you that these skates they're meant to go with the liner and they still have some lining in it. And if you have a normal Seba CJ, then um, you can take out all the padding 
and you can kind of like leave the same lining that's in these skates. You can still leave it and um, so that there's uh, one piece of fabric over the, the carbon. Um, that might be good. Maybe it works for you if you want to have like a really snug fit, then that might be good. But for all the people that I've seen try this and we, we help people here in the store and I've watched other videos on YouTube uh, of other people doing it. Everybody that kept that part in thought it would be too small for them. So in general, if you got a, a skate, I would advise you to take out this little piece of fabric as well and just take out the whole inside. So that's, that's the other way to do it. If you want to do it, but uh, you like watching the video of somebody showing you how to do it, but you don't want to do this yourself, then you can also send us your skate at home, send us to Amsterdam. We're going to do it here and then ship it back. Or you can of course come by our store here in Amsterdam because we have a really big skate shop and um, we can of course help you here. We have all the tools available. For our web shop, just go to thisisoul.com and we have customizing options as one of the menu items. And there it shows like all those specialized ways that uh, we can help you. Um, other stuff that we do, for example, is um, if, if you want to have like more room here in the sole plate to, pit, to put some wheels there, we can do that. Or maybe swap like some parts, like swap, um, swap wheels or swap frames. Or uh, if you have a riveted buckle, we can drill out the buckle for you. If you have a riveted cuff, we can put it in a normal cuff bolt for you. We got all these specialized customizing options you can find there. Now we're gonna go to the actual gutting part of this video. Um, here I'm gonna show you all the steps. There's about nine steps. Um, it's not that hard. It's like a little bit like uh, making scrambled eggs. It's hard to, to mess it up. Of course, if you like go really nuts with your knife and you go too deep, but if you're a little bit careful, you'll be able to do it uh, if you just follow the steps in this video. First thing you need is of course a sharp knife and um, maybe like a, a white marker, like a paint marker or a chalk, chalk marker. You don't really need it, but it's nice to mark it a little bit where you're gonna gut it. And the first step is to take off all the parts. So you need to have just the boot with no sole plate, no cuff, no laces, just take everything off. Then the second, step is to take your marker and you're going to mark it on the inside five centimeters underneath the top of the skate and then about one and a half centimeters distance between the, the line where the laces are uh, all the way up to the toe box. When, once you're at the toe box when you mark it you, you don't have to go any further so when you're at the first lacing hole you can just stop there and we'll worry about the toe box later. So step three, now it gets real because now we're going to cut the first part off and that's the tongue. It just sits in the way at this point so you can just take a knife and just cut the whole tongue off. Step four, now we're going to go to the big stuff and we're going to really gut it. Um, you're going to take your knife and cut the white line that we marked before all the way. Just do it with multiple... Uh, strokes easy you need to go through about like three pieces of fabric first you have the black cloth then it's the the white uh, like really soft foam and then there's even like a, a black EVA foam behind that you can cut it all out and again when you're at the toe box don't worry about that we'll do that later step number five is taking out the stitching of the sole so there's like this white piece of fabric over the entire sole and you can clearly see the stitching lines on them. Um, this is a really easy part, just take your knife and cut down all those stitches and then you can uh, see that the sole comes loose and you can also put your finger underneath the, the, the heel part and you can pull on it a little bit and by pulling on it we're going to go to the next step because by pulling on it uh, you can really see like how far you need to take it. Now, the white line that we uh, marked off with chalk or, uh, or paint, um, if you pull on the heel and you cut it at that white line, just make sure that you have this whole piece of, of heel come out. Cut it off 
entirely at uh, when you're a little bit at the toe box so that it's like one big piece that comes out in one total thing. This is the easiest way to do this. Step number seven is that you take out the toe. And you do this by pulling on the, that little white insole that's left there. Um, if you just pull on it, the whole toe will come out and you take your knife and you cut it off. Um, it's hard for me to tell you where to do it. You have to just look at it a little bit and uh, think about it, but you'll be fine. Now we have done all the gutting. Uh, we, we reach step eight and we only need to take out little pieces of fabric that are left, uh, make it nice, maybe cut off some of the lines that you didn't cut off really properly before. Um, especially on the top eyelets, there's probably some, some padding left there that you need to pull out. You can uh, take a, a, a pliers and pull it out with that if you want or with your hand if you're really strong. Uh, just make it work, make it nice and clean, do the kind of like, kind of like the final detailing now. And uh, then once that is done, we reach step number nine, and that is just taping everything that's sticking out. So there's this little side protector here. It has a big strip, that is the T-nut, and there's T-nuts here for the, for the cuff bolt and for the ankle strap as well. Um, it's best to put a, a piece of tape over that. Um, you can tape the whole inside of the skate if you want. That also protects the liner a little bit. And especially also you can tape the, um, the fabric that's around your calf, around your Achilles heel, that part of your heel. If you tape that a little bit, then you also hold the fabric there because it's, it's very loose right now. And um, to prevent it from wearing down because you're gonna skate this, right? So uh, the tape will hold it there a little bit better than if you don't tape it and it will last a little bit longer. The tape prevents the intuition liner from wearing down because the T-nuts, the they, they stick out and otherwise it will rub on your intuition liner. Check the position of your tape and if you've done it right after a couple of sessions because it might be uh, in a different place than you intended it to be. So keep an eye out on the tape and if it if it stays good. So these are all the steps that you uh, can take if you want to take out the inside foam of your skate. Anybody with more experience on this on other skates, again, please drop it in the comments because normally people do this with the Sebo CJ skate. It's possible definitely to do it with the new Wizard Bay skates. It's possible to do it with the Sebo CJ Prime which not a lot of people do it with, like just the last piece of lining. It's probably possible to do it with the factions, and it's probably possible to do it with any other carbon-based boot, but there's just not a lot of information. So if you are the guy who knows all about that, please inform us and let us learn from your experience. Um, if you want to learn more about other skating topics, Check out our YouTube channel because we make a new video every week about all sorts of different topics. So consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.